नमस्ते टू एवरी वन आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन माय यूट्यूब वीडियो चैनल टूडे आई विल डेली वार लेक्चर ऑन एनालिटिकल डिनेमिक्स और क्लासिकल मैकेनिक्स चैप्टर कॉन्स्टेंट मोशन इन व्हिच आई विल गिव द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ कॉन्स्टेंट्स एंड देयर क्लासिफिकेशंस now we wish to know what is the constant motion let a particle is restricted to move on xy plane along the circumference of a circle of radius a then we express this concept mathematically as follow since the particle is restricted to move on xy plane that is in xy plane z equal to 0 number 2 the particle will move along the circumference of a circle of radius a in xy plane therefore the equation will be equation of the circle x square plus y square equal to a square here origin be the center of the circle so mathematically this concept is expressed with the help of two equations if we do not apply any restriction on the motion of the particle then the particle may move in any manner and consequently we cannot express this concept by mathematical equation with the help of this concept we try to define free or independent dynamical system if the positions and velocities of the system of particles are free from any restriction then the dynamical system will be called free or independent here we have imposed two restrictions the particle will move in xy plane and the particle will move along the circumference of the circle two restrictions here in the case of free or independent dynamical system we do not apply any restriction therefore we may not express this concept by mathematical equation and the particle will move in any manner this dynamical system will be called free or independent if the position and velocities of the system of particles are subjected to certain restrictions then the dynamical system is called constrained or dependent these restrictions on the freedom of the motion are known as constraints therefore constraints are some restrictions on the freedom of motion of the system of particles a constant is expressed analytically by the equation of the form function of time t r mu vector position vector of mu x particle and r mu dot this equal to 0 mu equal to 1 2 dot 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 n when the number of particles in the system be n t equal to time r mu position vector of mu x particle 
आर म्यू डॉट दिस इज द वेलोसिटी वेक्टर नाउ वी गिव एन एग्जांपल if a particle is constrained to move on the surface s then we may express this concept by the equation function of t x y z equal to 0 here t be the time and x y z be coordinates here all three coordinates are not independent because the coordinate z can always be expressed in terms of x and y this implies that the particle has two degrees of freedom not three now we discuss the different cases number 1 if the function f does not involve the velocity vector r mu dot then the constraint is called finite or geometric in this case constraint equation will be of the form function of t r mu vector position vector and we will not involve this velocity vector and this will be equal to 0 mu 1 2 dot 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 n we may classify the finite or geometric constraint as follow number 1 stationary finite or geometric constraint number 2 non stationary finite or geometric constraint number 1 stationary finite or geometric constant now we discuss about this constant a finite or geometric constant is called stationary if it does not involve t explicitly therefore in this case constant equation will be of the form function of r mu position vector equal to 0 since we know that for finite or geometric constant the velocity vector r mu dot is not involved only t and r mu vector are present for finite or geometric constant we do not involve t here for stationary finite or geometric constant so here function f does not involve t explicitly implies that partial derivative of f with respect to t equal to 0 example a particle is constrained to move on a surface whose equation is Function of x, y, z equal to zero. Here, t is not explicitly contained in this equation. The stationary type of finite or geometric constant is also known as scleronomic. Number two, non-stationary finite or geometric constant. a finite or geometric constraint is called non stationary if the constraint equation involve t explicitly the constraint equation will be of the form function of t position vector r mu this equal to 0 mu equal to 1 2 dot 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 n implies that partial derivative of f with respect to t not equal to 0 here t is explicitly contained in this equation example 
a particle is constrained to move on a surface with equation function of t and position vector r mu equal to 0. That is function of t x y z equal to 0. The non-stationary type of finite or geometric constant is called renomic. Number two, differential constant. If the constraint equation involves the velocity vector r mu dot, then the constraint is called differential or kinematical. Therefore, in this case, the constraint equation will be of the form function of t r mu position vector and velocity vector r mu dot equal to 0. This constant equation involves the velocity vector r mu dot for differential constant. Differential constant may be classified as follow number one integrable or holonomic number two non-integrable or non-holonomic example of integrable differential or kinematical constant now we will give the example two particles in a plane are joined by a rod of constant length l and they are constrained to move in such a manner that the velocity of the middle point is always in the fixed direction inclined an angle alpha with x axis let the coordinates of the particles b x1 y1 z1 and x2 y2 z2 since given that particle in a plane let the particle moves in xy plane therefore number 1 z1 equal to 0 z2 equal to 0 number 2 the particles are joined by a rod of constant length l so for this we get length equal to square root x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square equal to l implies that x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square equal to l square number 3 the middle point is always in the fixed direction inclined to angle alpha with x axis implies that x1 dot plus x2 dot by cos alpha equal to y1 dot plus y2 dot by sin alpha here velocity vector is involved therefore this is a differential constant 
but this can be made integrable this differential constant may be made integrable therefore the constant is differential integrable or holonomic now we will give the example of non integrable differential constant two particles in a plane are joined by a rod of constant length l and is constrained to move in a such a manner that the velocity of the middle point of the rod is always along the rod therefore the equation of constraints may be written as follow let the coordinates of the particles be x1 y1 z1 and x2 y2 z2 therefore z1 equal to 0 z2 equal to 0 this is number 1 number 2 length is fixed l x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square equal to l square number 3 the velocity of the middle point of the rod is always along the rod this will be x1 dot plus x2 dot by x1 minus x2 equal to y1 dot plus y2 dot y1 minus y2 this differential constant is not integrable so the constraint is non integrable differential constant or non holonomic now we may sketch the figure for the classification of constants as follows constraints we divide it two division number one finite or geometric constants second is differential or kinematical finite constant is subdivide in two division number one stationary finite or geometric constant number two non stationary finite or geometric constant differential or kinematical constant may be subdivided in two division integrable differential or kinematical constant integrable differential or kinematical constant non integrable differential or kinematical constant this integrable 
डिफरेंशियल और काइनोमेटिकल कांस्टेंट इज नोन एज होलोनोमिक एंड नॉन इंटेग्रेबल डिफरेंशियल और काइनोमेटिकल कांस्टेंट इज नोन एज नॉन होलोनोमिक नाउ इन नॉट सेल वी विल डिस्कस द डिफरेंट काइंड्स ऑफ कांस्टेंट्स with the help of constant equation as constant equation generalized constant equation is function of t position vector r mu and velocity vector r mu dot if r mu dot velocity vector is not involved in the constant equation then the constant equation becomes t r mu equal to 0 and this is finite or geometric constant again if this finite or geometric constant does not involve t explicitly that is function of r mu equal to 0 then it is stationary and for this partial derivative of f with respect to t equal to 0 for stationary if this geometric or finite finite or geometric constant involves t explicitly then it is non stationary in this case partial derivative of f with respect to t not equal to 0 because here t is present now we come to differential or kinematical constant in differential or kinematical constant the velocity vector r mu is involved this is differential or kinematical constant here it may be possible that this this equation may be integrable or may not be integrable integrable means it may be made free from differential coefficients then in this case this is integrable differential or kinematical constant and another name is holonomic and if it is not integrable that means the differential coefficient may not be removed then it will be non integrable differential or kinematical constant and this kind of non integrable differential or kinematical constant is known as non holonomic thanks for watching my video if you are satisfied with my presentation and contents then please click on like button and do subscribe my youtube channel thank you